Everyone has the right to self-expression and deserves access to recreational activities that enrich their life. That's why Celebrate Special Recreation is hosting a one-of-a-kind event with a wide variety of adaptive experiences. The third annual celebration of special recreation enables and encourages people of all abilities to play together and find common ground. Elena Humphrey joins us with more. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Okay, before we talk about this really cool event that's coming up, yeah. let's talk about your background and how you found yourself here when you were at age 15, a life-altering accident. I mean, yeah. yeah, I broke my neck training for um, AAU Junior Olympic Nationals in gymnastics. Um, I was at a camp and I fell and broke my neck training there. So, um, but what was really great about that is that it helped update safety certification for gymnastics. It gave me a voice. When most teenagers don't have a voice, people were looking to me for advice. And so um, it really formed a lot about who I am. And I had really strong mother and parent and, um, you know, they just encouraged me to speak out for other people. And um, so I'm just so lucky that I have so many opportunities to do that. Did you find from age 15 when this happened on that it was hard to get involved with certain things you wanted to do because of lack of yeah. activities? To some degree, yes. Okay. But I went to the Rehab Institute of Chicago, which is now the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. And they are the number one hospital, uh, rehab hospital in the nation for a reason. They teach you all about how to find access for yourself and how to advocate for yourself and teach people what you need. And so I also had the fortune to grow up with parents who taught me that nothing was out of reach. So I don't really see barriers so much. I mm -hmm. just like to solve problems. And this being a quadriplegic really gave me an opportunity to solve problems on a regular basis. And this event also launched you into the world of advocacy. And mm. can you tell us what are some of the gaps that you still see? Um, well, particularly um, something that I'm focused on right now is accessible parking. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get more spaces for the number of folks that have placards. We have like 10% of the people in Illinois that have them, um, but only 2% of spaces are accessible. So that's one of the things I'm working on. I also do advocacy in a lot of other arenas for women, for LGBTQ folks. So. Um, yeah. My mom just taught me if you see a need in the community, you need to go out and find a way to help because it means that other people aren't doing it. First of all, I think your mother should write a parenting book. Yeah, she's yeah. amazing. Second, yeah. um, so you're involved with the Bolingbrook Arts Council. They are yes. so lucky to have you. Um, can you talk about how you decided that you were going to take action and create this event that we're talking mm -hmm. about today? Absolutely. So um, Zod Arts is a company out of Michigan, and they do this accessible painting for all. So they've created all of these tools, a roller that makes your wheelchair into a paintbrush, stampers, oh, wow. oh. things for people with significant disabilities to be able to have self-expression. We at the Arts Council, I've been bringing them down to do an annual event since 2017. Well, after COVID got over, um, I thought I really wanna expand this and I wanna make it into something that provides resources and shows all kinds of adaptive recreation and not just the art part. Um, so I went to the Bolingbrook Park District and the Northern Will County Special Rec Association and I gave them the idea and they immediately were like, let's run with this. So that was three years ago, this is our third event. And every year we just keep building and doing more and it's, it's so much fun. And this is about, you know, visibility and inclusivity, but, yeah. and that means that everyone's invited, people of all and different yes, abilities, right? Yes, that, that's the exciting part. So the, this is great for families who maybe have one child mm -hmm. with a disability. This is somewhere where you can come, you can see everyone participates in the activities together, but everyone has to use the adaptive equipment. This oh, kind of okay. flattens the playing field. It yeah. takes children who might not know that they have something in common with another child. It nurtures their natural curiosity. It allows them to interact with people in a way that they maybe didn't think that they could or had no idea that they could play with another child that had a disability or were afraid. It reduces all of that and it, it breaks down those barriers. And when can people get involved? How do they reach out to, to participate? Sure, um, it's at the Anna Reno Community Center mm -hmm. here in Bolingbrook. Um, it's on Saturday coming up on the 5th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. You don't have to pre-register or anything, you can just show up. Um, you can go to celebratespecialrec.org and find out more information there. Not only is all of the activities listed, but there is definitions of all the different activities so you know what to expect. It's a lot of fun. Elena, yeah. thank you so much. All the Absolutely. information right there on your screen for the celebration of special recreation. Again, it's this Saturday at the Anero Community Center. For more information, head to celebratespecialrec.org. Find them on Facebook, Instagram, all the things right there on your screen. We'll be right back. Stay with us.